There it is. Welcome back. It's Wednesday, and that means we're in the kitchen cooking with Rainya. Today, Rainya is continuing our series of menus for Sunday dinners. Last week, we made a great pot roast. What are we making today? Today, we are making swordfish steaks, and as you can see, I'm starting to already prepare them. Nice, big, thick swordfish steaks. I, do I know you're not a lover of fish. I can't wait to try it, though. But I have to tell you, swordfish is an underrated fish, Heather. People just don't get how wonderful it tastes. It is, they think it's strong, but that's because they've had old swordfish. Fresh swordfish. Fre you got to go. get fresh, and you got to make sure when you buy it, there's always a like a blood vein. Mm -hmm. You don't want that blood vein because you can see this is, can you see that? There's, it's absolutely pristine clean. Yes. You just want to have a good piece of fish. So the first thing you want to do is you want to season some flour with salt and pepper. Okay. Good old all-fashioned, all-purpose flour. Then you want to dredge this after the flour. You want to coat it in some breadcrumbs or egg. Egg, and then egg. In the breadcrumbs. These panko are bread? panko breadcrumbs. These are panko breadcrumbs, and as you can see, I've got a whole lot here because I really, really, really want this coated well. And in here, I've got some canola oil. Okay. So let's do this one last time. I have to tell you, too, your Mississippi pot roast that you made last week. And, folks, if you didn't get the recipe or you've never heard of it, you want to look it up from last week. Did um, you make it? So I went home. I told my husband. I said, I have got to make this for you. It was some of the best, best pot roast I've ever had. I started naming off the ingredients. He said, oh, my lieutenant, who's their chef at the firehouse. Right, right, he's, right. He's the one, their go-to cook. Right. Their lieutenant, Damien Zuch, makes it for them all the time. They request oh, it all the no time. Kidding. Oh, I'm yeah. so glad to hear that. So. You know, there's a lot of different versions of that pot roast on right. the internet, and they're all just a, a little, little bit different. different. Right. That one was really good. I think the pepperoncini in that one is what really popped at home. Well, he says that they use hot peppers, and I know we use mild for that, ours. No, ours was pepper. Oh, was it? Oh, oh, yeah, they were hot peppers. So good. They were hot peppers. So how long are these cooking on each side? So what we want to do here is have an oven preheated to about 375 degrees, and I want to coat these like I just did, bread them, and then put them in some canola oil on medium heat, just medium heat. Okay. And all I want to do at this point, and I think I'm going to find this right here. I just want to flip them. Very carefully. Very carefully so that they're browned, but certainly not cooked at all. Okay. And what we want is we want to flip them over, brown them, and then this one's not quite ready. It could be where I have it on the heat. Move it around. And I'll brown them better. There we go. In the oven, I'm going to put them, once I brown them, and I have this on now, I have it a little higher. I'm going to put them in here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put these in the oven. Okay. Okay. So what I'd like to do then is get started on working on my sauce to go with them, but I need the same exact pan. Pan. Okay. So Get what I'm the flavor from that. Right. So why don't you bring sure. that over? I'll Even hold though this. these aren't quite as brown as I'd like. They'll get brown in the oven. And so I'm, there's no additional oil in here. Is there enough from the pan and stuff? There's to the enough fish? from, yes. Okay. There's enough from the pan. And you can add a little bit if you want. And sure. I have some here that I can, I, I will add. That's, you can't hurt it. So let's just put this here, put a little bit right in here. Okay. Just a little bit. Can you show that on what sure. we're doing? What we're just doing. adding a little bit more olive just oil? Just a little bit. Or canola this oil. This is canola Sorry. oil because it's got a, it won't burn. Okay. And then come on over here and let's put these in the okay. oven. <laughs> and we're going to let those cook until they're cooked through. And that's going to take at least about seven minutes because they're good and thick. Now, what I have here in this pan right here is in the same the oil from the fish, a little bit of butter. Okay. Okay. And you know, you're talking about that Mississippi pot roast. Mm -hmm. We went to Glow at Hartwood Acres oh, yes. on Saturday, and we had the 7:30 shop, um, you know, I guess segment or whatever you want to call it, time slot. And so what we did was, um, I had my pot roast in my slow cooker. And you and just we ate it home. Then? No, we came home, we had dinner. Oh, how lovely. Okay, so here goes some garlic. How are we doing on time, Well, Heather? I think we have to wrap up now. 
All right. Um, so you got your garlic cooking. We'll got get that nice and fragrant. my garlic cooking, and I'm just going to deglaze my pan with a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of white wine. And this is the sauce that will go on top of the swordfish? Right. And when we come back, I'll show you everything that we do oh, to finish it up. Oh, good. Okay, can't wait. Looking forward to that. We're also making a cheesecake, so you'll want to stay with us. We'll be back cooking with Rainia in just a bit.